Now, it's not just uh, Pakistan that has a study in contrast when it comes to politicians and their academic qualifications. India, too, has its own share of uh, highly educated politicians as well as those who could barely even matriculate. Let's take a look at some of the heads of state and how they fared academically. Uh, starting with Donald Trump. President of the United States of America, he has often boasted about his Ivy League education to better his image as an immature politician. Now, at the age of 13, Trump was sent to the New York Military Academy, where he excelled in both academics and sports. Donald Trump attended Fordham University for two years. He then transferred to the Wharton Business School in Pennsylvania, where he graduated in 1968 with a Bachelor of Science in Economics and a concentration in Finance. Uh, moving on to Russia and uh, President Vladimir Putin, he wanted to emulate the intelligence officers portrayed in Soviet cinema and worked his way up to the KGP ranks. Putin studied law at the Leningrad State University he graduated in 1975 with a degree in law. His thesis was one of the most favoured nation trading principles in international law. A Putin studied German at St. Petersburg High School and speaks German fluently. At the age of 22, he was recruited into the KGP and for the next 16 years, Putin worked as a self-described specialist in human relations. And uh, next up is Emmanuel Macron. The French president is the youngest president in France's history. He is probably one of the most highly educated heads of state across the globe. Macron studied philosophy at a university in Paris. He then graduated from Sciences Po with a master's degree in public affairs. He majored in public guidance and economy. He then trained for a senior civil service career. Now let's talk about Chinese President Xi Jinping. Now, Jinping's childhood was a troubled one, but it did not stop him from getting the education he wished for. Xi studied chemical engineering at Beijing's prestigious Tsinghua University as a worker, peasant, soldier, student. He spent most of his time studying Marxism, Leninism, Mao Zedong, thought, doing farm work and learning from the people's Liberation Army. He has studied Marxist philosophy and ideological education at the School of Humanities and Social Sciences at the Tsinghua University. He obtained a Doctor of Law degree, which was a degree covering fields of law, politics, management, and revolutionary history. But there are some uh, commentators that have questioned this uh, qualification of Xi Jinping. Now moving on to the Indian president, Ram Nath Kovind was academically inclined and has been an educator for several decades. Mr. Ram Nath Kovind graduated with law college in Kanpur. He then gave a shot at the Indian civil service exam but did not make it in the first two attempts. In the third attempt, he succeeded but couldn't serve in the government post that he started practicing law. He became a central government advocate in the Delhi High Court. In 1978, he became an advocate on record of the Supreme Court of India.